Hello, welcome to Sipo uh, National Park. Uh, we are uh, a little bit like one hour from Helsinki and this uh, national park close to, to the city. And we are having uh, our guides, uh, Marco Lepanen, Lepanen and Adela Paulinen, Paulinen, who will uh, guide us through a forest uh, health walk today. Our participants in situ are already started. I can show you. They are taking a little shower. So we will leave you now uh, listening to the water for a little while. So I think we are starting the walk. Maybe maybe we can introduce you first to our guides, Marco and Adela. Hello. Hello and warmly Hello. Welcome. warmly welcome. Could you uh, enjoy the river? Only visually, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. Yeah, we couldn't hear it. Yes. But please uh, tell who were here present. Like, how did you feel? Could you feel the showering effect of the river? Yeah, now it's so heavy sound that could you feel the showering effect? Yeah. <laughs> we are ready to, ready to continue. Yes. Right. Yeah. So let's go further, further to the, to the forest. So, so we continue. We also have very important participants, I completely forgot to tell you. Tango. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So the next small part we are patrolling deeper to the forest. Uh, on each inhale, we could be aware that uh, the forest is full of, of chemical messages the, the trees are emitting. And whether we smell or not the aroma, we are anyway inhaling the molecules and they are affect, affecting us. The Japanese researchers uh, uh, claim that this is, for example, promoting Im immune system and uplifting mood. But uh, we just inhale, and on each exhale, we can still continue relaxing. So exhale can be a little bit longer, maybe, than mm -hmm. inhale. And those of you who are online, the imagination of human being is tremendous. So now Marketa will show you images from this forest. So you can do the same, that you inhale, you inhale the forest, 
and then with every out breath you relax and you don't have to like exaggerate the breathing just breathe as you breathe but like visualize the freshness and the fullness of the forest air with every inhale and every out breath you relax okay Are you smelling it? Good. Yep. 
we stop here because of aspen trees. The Finnish writer Anni Kytömäki has said that Aspen is a, a guest house of a forest. And she said this because Aspen uh, is so life supporting species. In Finland, it is the most life supporting single tree species. And one of the secrets of Aspen is that it's making photosynthesis even by the bark, not only by the leaves. Mm. And uh, Aspen leaves, when they are falling on the autumn, they are uh, calcium providing. So snails, for example, uh, are uh, enjoying their presence. And the bark of, of uh, Aspen is not acid but it's more like a neutral in pH. And that's why it's like a, it is a great surface for all kind of moss and lichens to grow on it. These are just uh, one aspect of why it is so life supporting tree. Are there many aspects? Are there many? In Finland, uh, the amount of aspens is 1.7% okay. of the all mm. of, of, of the all like a like a amount of wood growing in forest. Mm. So it's very tiny, it's less than yeah. two two percent. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, here are quite a few aspens and uh, one one or two of each of us could go to an aspen and we could little bit feel its life supporting abilities by just leaning on it. You could take your raster away and and if you don't have the fancy jacket on on you, you could also try yeah. this kind of massage but if you have like a pain somewhere in your neck you really like let the massage like find really like the uh, the spot whether it's like the lower back or the upper back then like lean on the tree and really like do like the big animals often do to the trees that they like really like I don't know the word what it is but they really like scratch themselves yes like re really like move against it the tree doesn't mind like it, it's really not a burden to a tree that we do like this <laughs> yes, and really like do it like really even like even like you can do a bit harder maybe that you can really get the sensitive spots and then massage yourself. You can just feel it so far. Yes, and then when you feel like more to the to the quieting yourself and relaxing, you can also lift your sight to the uh canopy of the aspen she has already dropped the leaves but you can still admire the canopy up there great to feel even that the head is supporting them. We can for a moment feel that we are one of those many species which are enjoying the guest house of forest.
and like with every good guest house you when you leave from there you feel a bit renewed and refreshed and while exiting this one we can also like put our hands and like help with the hands a little bit so it will be very soft to our back like push a little bit with our hands when leaving the house Good Aspen. <laughs> we'll remember. Are Aspen's used for, for wood also? Like for are they yes, it is quite soft. The wood is soft, so it's for many kind of things that when you where you need a uh, soft, soft wood, like and matches. Yeah, ma matches and and the fences of sauna. Ah, okay, those are aspen. For for some yeah. reason, because it is uh, not so like a uh, we could say solid wood, it is not so hot in sauna when sitting on oh, on okay. it as a naked. What's the name Finnish for aspen? Harpa. Harpa. Yep. Okay, we can see that this is a kind of natural forest because of many species and also quite big amount of of wood which is already rottening and, and providing that that's way in that way also nutritious and, and home for thousands of beings. Mm. But these seed leaves, they, they are like the nicest concept in the forest and they are nicest color like at least in my opinion like they are golden mm. and shaking all the time and giving like a concept to their eyes and to their ears but now they have dropped their leaves and but we can still see like now the nutrients are going to the whole forest like to all the other creatures here even though they look like a bit like you you need to like open your eyes to see the beauty in this form but <laughs> But you can also see it like this, but now they are like giving what they have their, their nutrients. What's the biological reason for the movement? Is there it's any... the structure of the, the leaf, but then like... But is, is there some... There, there, like, is, there is a secret and yes. it's promoting the exchange of, of gases. Yes, yeah. but also it could... Yes, also, and but it also could be because all the plants and all the trees, they are like optimizing the sun radiation. So it could be also like... A, because when it's like little bit moving, it's catching like light, more light. Mm, more light. But how it's doing it, then you can also like take this to your hand. Like it's a bit like flat here the, compared to other. Like that's how it's like happening. Yeah, it really makes a noise. Sound. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go further. And there is. Uh, a uh, little bit uh, difficult spot, so we are careful with the <laughs> audience and laptop. I'll make sure to carry you carefully. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> And a mushroom.
Marqueta, is it flat or are you going like up and down? It's actually quite steep. A little bit hilly. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little steepy now. Here we can see how the smallest things have very important function in forest ecosystem because this mushroom is growing from a single needle of, of a spruce tree. And we have these small mushrooms everywhere in the forest soil. Kuusenneulas nahikas. And if we wouldn't have these, we would be soon there uh, struggling in the meter depth of, of needles after right. after oh, okay. some years. So they use the... Yeah, these eat the needles oh, okay. of spruce tree. So Agujas. now we can... After this time, when we continue to walk, we can always appreciate these small <laughs> things because there used to be a moment in world history long ago when these fellows were not around yet. And then forest just fell and fell and fell and fell and, and the layer, layer was suffocating everything. And afterwards, this whole layer got underground and this is how coal was then created, but the coal was created because no, nobody was like eating them. Mm. The wood material like these small fellows are doing. Mm. So they are here. I'm doing a good job. I wanted to show you the putting it back. Oh. Oh. Yes. We were giving little magnified glass. Magnified, yes. Mm. 
wait everyone to come, but let's see that I, if this would show anything. Yeah, it does. Yeah. tulee loopi. So if you first practice how to use this. Yes. So you open it like this, that the measurement scale is at the bottom. And then uh, the place, the target that you are looking at should be like right there where the measurements are. And then you put your eye like very close to the magnifying glass. Like you can practice with your hand. To see your skin. Yes. Ah. And it has been dry, so don't worry. <laughs> Try summer. You can see COVID through here. The dog is like, what? You can see it, yes. So do you see? Like, put your eye like very close to the glass. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you see your skin very well, then you are ready for explore other other uh, so we we have things. landscapes in big world but we have in in micro world too many landscapes canyons and, and huge creatures and and mountains and everything and uh, with these magnifying glasses we go to have an exploration in in small world to find landscapes which are uh, so uplifting that maybe we can even give a landscape as a present to somebody who is close mm. to us. So if we find nice landscape, we can also invite a friend nearby mm. to, to have it too. So here are many things we can go after. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> 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 Ui, tango on vähän ihmeessä. Et kaikki katsoo luukuta. Onko se vähän ihmeessä? <laughs> it's like diving, you can see that. Yeah. But, but what do you have? Nice look. Are you using school? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tämä tietty palli, mikä on erittäin hyvä hintalaatu, kun se on pieteemmät poistuva tuoteista. Tämä on vain lampeenpaa. Suomen ladulla. Suomen ladulla. Tämä on vähän vastaava. Joo. Tämä on ihan loistava. Tämä on todella hieno. Tämä on pitäisi pääsee valoilijaksi. Kyllä. Kaikki on aina. Kyllä. Se on ihan niin uusinkertainen. Se on semmoinen hyvä, hyvä näkökulma. The dog is really confused. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing those things that I'm usually doing? Bobo, but it's also like so funny because it's kind of, you have to be so close to the things, no? To see them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. uh, 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 uh,
Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mutta meni kovartaan, niin samalla niin kuin myönnetään, että pieni on hienoa. Pieni on isoa. Are you looking up close over there? I'm gonna put you to stare at the pigeons as well. Let's see, tota, if, if I can. The details of. That's so special. You can also ask questions from there if you want, anytime. <laughs> Mikä se eläimen ja muun eliön määritelmä on? Siis se raja on, on se, se liikkuminen. Mm. On, se, on se jollakin tavalla, mutta, mutta tuota, kyllä sitten taas niin kuin vaikka kivetti liikkuu. Niin kyllä, niin Että ei se, ei se ole niin, niin, niin semmoinen, niin kuin, mutta se on liikkuminen on y, yksi kuitenkin, niin, niin, mitä se niin kuin niin kuin pidetään se, semmoinen. The mm -hmm. good thing in this practice is that even the smallest place can be a vast and huge uh, nature experience. One single tree in the yard or one stone with moss cover is like a providing endless exploration uh, tracks. The, the tree bikes are quite interesting. Tree what? The the bikes of the tree. The part, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, the, or the moss over. Yeah. You, but also no, those might... little like a uh, plants in there. Mm. These are super interesting. These. Mm. These. Yeah. Mm. Oi, oi. And it happened to me that uh, I was oh. investigating the tree and now I'm full of uh, pihka. What is pihka in English? Resin. Resin. Now I'm full of resin. It, it's really like sticky that it's difficult to get get away, but it's it's uh, precious substance it's actually like healing wounds so if i had here a wound like this would be very healthy the, the resin is uh, one thing where ancient knowledge is meeting the new science because in finland uh, in central hospitals when there are difficult uh, wounds. wounds after operations they are using spruce tree re right. resin, resin to okay. heal the wounds really mm -hmm. yes it's have double impact it's an antibacterial and it's promoting the, the skin to, to grow, to grow. Yeah, a lot of like that's it. really interesting uh, in australia they're using pawpaw ointment which is fermented pawpaw um you know the pawpaw tree the fruit and they're experimenting with that at hospitals for wounds similarly interesting. really interesting. interesting thank you for, for telling are you from australia I am here in Australia at the moment. Wow, yeah. it is far away. <laughs> Christina is from. What time it is? <laughs> wow, it's six twenty p.m. We make wine from from the raisin of the pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's soul healing, spiritual healing. <laughs> okay, we can continue to yes. patrol, but we can keep this on the way. So every now and then, if we see something interesting, we can use the loop and soon we are having a, a quite steep climb and we may get a little bit out of the breath and it doesn't matter it's actually good thing uh, because the forest air is having it's living it's having microbes from 100,000 to close to 1 million per square meter 
so the air is alive and we breathe from 10 to 15 cubic meters air each day but when we get like a little bit uh, heavy breathing it may tenfold so we are really like intaking the beneficial microbes to uh, help our body to adjust the immune system system this is big field of uh, of study also in finland how forest bacteria is uh, supporting health and one of the main pathways is because it is like a training the immune system that it's functioning properly mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there was some study recently talking about the like the beneficial effect of kids playing in the forest mm -hmm. on their immune system. Yeah. And and then it was like a thing in the kindergarten year that the kids should go yeah. more often outside because and play I, in the that's forest. That's kindergarten age they it's like then they develop the microbe uh which is actually lasting the whole mm. whole life but it this it doesn't mean that we as adults we shouldn't also take mm. care of it but for kids it, it's even more important and mm. they then naturally do it mm. every kid like somehow loves these kind of things mm. like tasting and, so and you're tasting yeah. it's ge ge it's <laughs> the phenomena has name geophagia yes. is it that the child then like the microbes will live in in the yes. in the human after in, in, in their yes. life too like yeah. when, when you as a child you get them yes then they will stay yes yes yeah the basic is yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. yes uh, of course it's like a dynamic process yeah yeah but anyway it creates like a basis certain basis of the microbes yes. and, yeah. and uh many uh like a pre-modern human communities they have practice of, of earth eating geophagia uh, for example, in sou southern states of the United States, they were long like a ri ridiculed mm -hmm. this habit because they were having on the market that they have some some clay clay bread or something just in order to eat the earth, and <laughs> and and all animals are doing it, mm -hmm. and children are doing it. We are the only ones who are not doing it <laughs> because we are, we are. Too, too civilized. <laughs> Time for a tasting. That's another interesting thing Good about the it. children that now they are bringing the uh, the forest floor to mm. the parks of the kindergartens. Yes. yes. So yes. you can play in there and, and eat yes. the. Uh, that, that was the study. Yeah, that was mm. the study which yes. they have they have com compared those children who are playing in that kind of playground and. The, yes. And they noticed that in just few weeks. Yes. The, gut bacteria and the skin bacteria of those children grew much more diverse and uh, in blood samples they noticed that uh, this kind of uh, interleukins which are uh, like a fighting of uh, uh, in inflammation were like a increasing Okay, which way we So this was the motivation speak for going up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it is it now the how, how long is this? Uh we have been here four to six minutes. Uh -oh. So are we now finishing with the or how do we probably I probably think, we should I think yeah we can release them from we the, should release yes <laughs> Our fellow we'll focus creatures. on climbing for you. So you yes. climbing and breathing. We go now yes. climbing. So thank you for joining Let's us climb. today. Thank you so much. It was beautiful. Thank, thank you. you for walking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. It was so thank nice. You. It was great thank having you. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Learn heaps. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.